This project has been ongoing for nearly 20 years. It stems from my PhD research back in 2006, when my wife Amy and I hiked the entire length of California on the PCT. But we need to go back a couple of years earlier in 2004 for the vision of the megatransect. This is when Amy and I first hiked the entire length of California. At that time, I didn't know much about the Pacific Crest Trail. I had a vague understanding of what it was. It was a trail that went from Mexico to Canada through the Sierra Nevada. That's about all I knew about it. So at first, we were thinking it would be a once in a lifetime thing for us, something we would tell our grandchildren about. We just wanted to hike the PCT for the experience of it, for the adventure. And I did not realize at the time that it would turn into an 18 year project and ongoing to this day and involving dozens of our students and that the PCT would have a profound impact on our lives. In that 2004 hike, what we realized and what gave us a vision for doing research on the trail is just how unbelievably diverse the environments of the PCT truly are. From deserts, to forests, and alpine. This diversity inspired us to hike the length of California again in 2006. And on this 2006 hike, we studied the ecology of birds and their habitats. You come out so I can get a good picture of you. There you go. Hi, pygmy nut hatch. All right, pygmy nut hatch. Amy and I made our observations at survey sites established at about every quarter of a mile for a total of 3,578 survey sites. We completed all of this work in a single field season in 2006, and we have since resurveyed the sites over the years. For Amy and me, it was a wonderful and positive experience to spend months on the trail and in the wilderness, but it was definitely not easy for us. It's a huge culture shock we were acclimating to trail life and to a wilderness culture. And we needed to accept a certain level of risk or danger on the trail. Yeah, yeah. Break, 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 break. Ah. Break. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I hit rock though. Are <laughs> you hurt? No, a little scrape maybe. In the spring, as snow melted rapidly, we had to ford swollen streams and creeks which often presented unique challenges. Amy and I like to call this experience a voluntary crisis. And for me, personally, in my 20 years of long distance backpacking, I've learned what I'm capable of accomplishing and where my limits truly are. But I also discovered that my lifestyle is so much healthier on the trail. I get up with the sun and go to sleep when the sun goes down. My anxiety virtually disappears, and I'm mainly focused on the challenges that each day brings, and not really worried about tomorrow. Spending months hiking the Pacific Crest Trail is a voluntary crisis. But life is really about a series of crises. It's how we face and move through these crises that define who we are. we experienced on the trail have interwoven themselves into our very being.
forever shaping our character. So we've engaged many students from across the U.S. in this research program on the Pacific Crest Trail. And we've witnessed the trail's impact on our students' lives, shaping their character, just as it shaped ours. And now we are starting a new wildlife science school, Peak Eco Challenge, housed in our nonprofit, the Institute for Biodiversity and the Environment. Our mission is to engage both high school and college student researchers. Our student researchers don't pretend to do science, they're actually doing science. They're participating in making observations in our ongoing study of the biodiversity of the Pacific Crest Trail. There's two ways to engage. First, the 10-day Wildlife Explorer program. Second, a Wildlife Expedition program, available in either seven week or 15 week durations. We refer to the research program itself as the Pacific Crest Trail Biodiversity Mega Transect. The overall goal is to track how birds are responding to environmental change. This could be human land use change, climate change, drought, fire, or other sources of environmental change. We provide the hands-on training for our student researchers to do the science in the field. And we make our observations while hiking the trail. You're gonna have lots of ups and downs. You're gonna have a lot of really, really hard moments where you wanna quit. Make sure you're enjoying every moment of it, every beautiful tree, every little flower you pass as you walk along. And yeah, it'll, it'll change your life. It's an amazing project, an ambitious project. Uh, you will not be the same person that you are when you come off. If you stick to it, I can promise you the payoff is gonna be so worth it. Uh, it's just the culmination of so many things that I care about, um, like academics and ecology. I think that was a huge component of this journey um, that helped me deal with all the challenges. I just learned so much about um, nature and also myself. I've, I've been really, really enjoying this trip and I think that really pushed me to my limits and uh, tested my perseverance. To learn more about our programs, please visit our website or email us to set up a call for a program consultation.